All right, what's up, everyone? This is Aztec 101 in the ring. Um, you know, last night I got a chance to, to watch another episode of the Al Heyman Protection Program, otherwise known as PBC. Hey, turned out to be a good fight. Turned out to be a good fight. I'm glad that Heyman is getting a lot of attention. Thank you, Heyman, for making a fight you're supposed to make. Um, Leo Santa Cruz versus Carl Frampton. Turned out to be an exciting fight. These guys, these guys, they got down. I mean, from round one to round 12, they were exchanging, and, and it, it seemed to be a close fight. I had a hard time um, picking who was winning, but I would like Carl Frampton work better. So I had him ahead. By the end of the fight, I thought, you know, the winner was Carl Frampton, in my opinion. But... When I heard the judges, you know, I, I could tell that the Al Heyman Protection Program was in full effect that night. Uh, just by just by the fucking the 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 two judges that were high as fuck. Um, obviously, not even watching the fight. I mean, they were probably on their phones, but you can just tell one guy had it one fourteen, one fourteen. You know, that makes sense. That made common sense. I can I, I can tell because the fight was close. Um, and then and then you had another judge 117 111 another judge 116 112 pretty much these two judges are saying that uh Carl Frampton won either 9 or 8 rounds out of the 12 and uh, Leo Santa Cruz only won 3 or 4 right these scorecards these two scorecards do not represent the fight that was aired so this is Obviously, you know, some bullshit judging. Um, shit that's got to get cleaned up. And I see a lot of that and uh, uh, going down everywhere. And, and, and it's just got to be called out. That's some bullshit judging. I mean, um, thank God there's three judges. But it's just when you see scoring like this, it pisses you off because you know that's not what happened. Right. Um, but. Carl Frampton now is, 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 he's the target for Rigo. Guillermo Rigondeaux has already come out and said that he wants to fight the winner. So he wants to fight Carl Frampton. Now, Heyman has done a wonderful job. He's done an amazing job. I mean, if I were Carl Frampton and I was Leo Santa Cruz, I would, hi I mean, I would make sure that Al Heyman, um, keeps me signed to his stable because he will keep me protected and you know Heyman's done a wonderful job you know uh, even Donaire Donaire I mean it, fucking top rank put Donaire versus Yermo Rigondeaux together you know they've done that I don't see Heyman make Heyman making that kind of fight um with Rigondeaux so I mean, I guess if you guys want to see the fight, someone needs to start riding a Heyman or, or whatever, but that's the guy that makes the fight, right? That's the guy that you think. Thank you, Heyman, for making Leo Santa Cruz versus now fucking get him to make uh, Carl Frampton versus uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux so we can thank him for that shit. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of faith for the Heyman Protection Program. I think... Um, you know, I'm going to tell my kids about this shit. Honestly, I'm going to tell my kids. Yeah, I'm not going to let anyone forget about this shit. I'm going to tell them about how Al Heyman kept his fighters away from Guillermo Rigondeaux and made sure that they didn't fight this Cuban killer. I'm going to make sure they know that Al Heyman did not want this Cuban killer to make sure that, you know, both his fighters weren't embarrassed on national television. You know, Al Heyman's doing a good job. Al Heyman's a good job. But uh, the, the type of bullshit that they're putting Guillermo Ringendau through is is embarrassing. And it's a, it's starting to become the laughing stock of boxing, right? So this is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.